Have you ever seen one of these before? This is a plumbing manifold system and a beautiful install on this house. On the build show today, we're gonna to talk about how the system works. I'll show you how it's laid out. We're also gonna talk about some pros and cons, why you might choose this for your house or why you might actually choose a different system. Today's build show is all about plumbing. Let's get going. Okay guys, have you ever seen one of these before? This is a manifold system for a structured plumbing. If you've not seen one of this, this happens to be Viega's mana block system. But basically this is just like your electrical circuits are running in your house. Think of this as your circuit board. All the water comes in here and then it gets distributed out on a plumbing run, which in theory is one continuous run from this point here all the way to the fixture. So look how this is labeled. Bath number three, lavatory, cold bath number three, lavatory hot. So basically from this point here, we've got a run of PEX that should in theory be what they call a home run, meaning one continuous run of half inch pipe from here all the way to the end point of use in the house. No fixtures, no breaks whatsoever. They run this plumbing just like the wiring in the house. This is a really pretty install. Before I get into the pros and cons though, let me walk you through how the plumbing system generally works in the house. And then we're gonna talk about pros and cons here. So first off, incoming waters right here. We're in a full in-ground basement right here and the water lines coming in right here. He's got, it looks like a one inch PEX line coming in and then the plumber has transferred into copper so that he could make this manifold. Now these are the actual meters from the street uh, or pardon me, they're not at the street. The meters are inside the house and there's a wire installed. So the meter reader just drives by and finds out what these are reading. Now from the meters, we've got this PEX line here and this is running over to two places. There's a T right here, which is coming into a smaller manifold. And then a second line over here runs to the water softener system. So he's got a whole house water softener system installed in the basement. Here's where you're gonna dump the salts on that. And then the resins are contained in the tank. So then the output from that is softened water. Now he's got a loop in here that you can turn this off. And a lot of times you'll see a new construction these two loops are here and then they're capped so that you can add this later, but this one's already installed. So the water softener line comes here and there's a T in that line so that um, you're getting cold water to the mana block. And this is the cold water input of softened water to the water heater. Now the beauty of softened water and a water heater is this water heater is gonna last a long time. We're not gonna get a lot of scale buildup. And then the plumber's transferred to hot because the water coming out of that unit obviously is hot. We've got 120 degree water coming in here. And here's where the mana block system is really cool. You've got cold on this side, so it's feeding in here. And then every one of these branches has this ability to turn off. If you look at that little arrow right there, that means that you've got flow coming into the fixture. But in an emergency, you could pop this key off right here. Let's see how it's attached. Just got a little plug on there. And we can actually put the key in there and turn that off. All it takes is a little 90 degree turn on there. And now master lav one cold is turned off. So if we had a leak in the master, if we wanted to change that faucet out in five years, we could turn off just that fixture and not worry about turning off anything else in the house. Same goes on the cold side. So the cold water comes in here and this manifold is split in two. You can't see the guts in the internal here, but there's a tube here and then everything's branching off. And then this is a uh, Viega PEX system as well. So this is a barbed output here. The plumber puts the copper on there and then there's a crimp ring. This happens to be a copper crimp ring. They crimp that on. And now again, we've got that same home run going all the way through the house. I love how these are labeled so you know exactly where these are going in the house. And the, in my mind, one of the huge benefits of this system is that you've got, in theory, much less fittings than you would have in a traditional or a trunk and branch system. Now, from this section here all the way to the furthest fixture here, which in this case happens to be the clothes washer, I've got a continuous run of PEX. This might be 20 feet of PEX, it might be 50 feet. I don't know quite how far we are here. But let's talk about some pros and cons on this system. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Quick commercial from my friends at bombfell.com. Now, if you're like me, you have no time to shop and you probably don't even know what to buy if you are shopping. So this is pretty cool. This is a website that's gonna hand pick stuff for you. They're gonna link you up with a personalized stylus. They're gonna ask you all kinds of questions so they can find stuff that you like. And then they're gonna ship it out to you so that you don't have any pain in the shopping process. 
Very cool. Now this is called bombfell.com and if you sign up at this link, bombfell.com backslash Matt Reisinger, you're going to get $25 off your first order. Now they shipped me this and I had no idea what to expect when I got this. I got to say, I was a little anxious about trying this on and yet when I put these green pants on, my wife was like, oh, you look great in those. That was just the compliment I need. I was like, oh, this is, this is good. This is definitely a good thing. Okay guys, they've got a keep more, get more campaign going on. If you keep four or more items, you get 20% off. Three or more items, 15% off. Two or more items, 10% off. Again, the link is bombfell.com, B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L.com, backslash Matt Reisinger, $25 off on your first order. Let's get back to that job site and finish that PEX video. Oh, I'm sorry, one other quick thing I forgot to mention. He's got a smaller manifold over here. Why did he break that out? This smaller manifold here is taking that line before it goes to the water softener so that we've got a couple areas in the house that is non-softened water. Let's see if we can read it. Ice maker is getting non-softened water. The kitchen sink is not getting soft water. The hose bib on the front of the house, the hose bib in the back of the house. And he's got a future one here that is labeled. Oh, it's not labeled. Okay, so he's got a future one that he could also put in here uh, something else. But that's kind of cool. You know, I don't love the taste of soft water. So at your kitchen sink, at your ice maker, you can get regular water, hard water, without that taste that sometimes can be associated with softened water. Okay, so then let's get back to the manifold system. What are the pros and cons on this? The pro, I think, on these systems is that you don't have nearly as many connectors. You know, one of the downfalls, I think, of PEX is that you've got additional connections that could be a leak. So if we can reduce the amount of connections there, that's huge. The other massive pro is being able to turn off just one circuit on this branch system. Just like your breaker box, you can turn off one breaker and the rest of the power is on in the house. The same is true here. All the water can be on in the house, but if we've got one area that leaks or one issue, we can come down here and turn that off and not have to worry about turning off the water to the entire house. What are the downsides though? A couple downsides I see here. Look how this, this water on this side is branching off. Now the plumber's done a beautiful job, by the way. I love how organized and beautiful he did. And he's got one big kind of clump of water coming to the house. And if you look above me, he's got that all clamped together. Beautiful job. But none of these lines are insulated. And every time I turn any fixture in the house, I've got to evacuate this pipe. Now, now depending on distance, this could be a good system. If it's a long distance though, it might mean a long time for hot water delivery. So let's look at a couple numbers here. We're in the basement. This is a two-story house. This house is relatively small. This is a 2,000-ish square foot house. And we're located kind of centrally in the basement. So I asked the builder over here how far it was to the master bath. I think we're between 20 and 25 piped feet between here and the master bath. So 25 feet of half inch pipe, if I did the math correctly, we're around a half a gallon. And if we've got a two gallon per minute fixture, that means we're gonna wait about 15 seconds to evacuate the hot water between here and there. But we've got a three quarter PEX line coming off the water heater. And then we've also got to get that hot water all the way through the mana block, which is probably three quarter an inch as well in there. So my guess is delivery time on hot water in this house at the master, if we're at 25 feet, it's going to be maybe 20, 25 seconds. That's not too bad. But when we turn that master faucet on, we've taken care of that. That faucet's now charged. And the next time we turn it on, if it's relatively short, it's going to be hot again. But when I go to turn on the shower, which is just five feet away, I've got to do the exact same thing on the shower line as well. Meaning I've got to discharge all that cold water before this line here is filled as well. That's the downside of a system like this is that you don't have a pre-charged trunk line running through the house that once you've turned on one fixtures, they're all taken care of. And the other downside is you can't add a circulation system later on this. If you've got a trunk and branch system through the house with let's say a three quarter inch line that runs as a main going through and then twigs of smaller half inch copper, I could put a circ line in that later if hot water delivery is slow and then I'm not wasting water by dumping that cold down the drain. So, a couple takeaways I would say. I like this system, I think there's a lot of pros. Don't use it on a big house. If you've got a, a house over 3,000 square feet, I wouldn't use it. If you don't have an easy access point, let's say for instance, me, I'm building in the south, I typically don't have a basement 
mechanical room like this, I would say this is not a great system. You certainly do not want to bury this in the wall. You want to have great access to this. And if you're in a one-story house that's really spread out, you might have really big distances. So in my mind, if you can think of a central spot in your house that you can have access to this, and you're going to be able to get pipe runs of you know, maybe 30 feet or less to most of your fixtures, this is a great choice. If you've got 50 foot runs or longer between this mana block system and where the point of use is, I personally wouldn't do it because I think you're going to end up wasting a lot of water and you're going to be frustrated by how long it takes to get hot at all those fixtures. Guys, thanks for joining me. There's even more to be said about this system. This was kind of a cursory look. Look up a guy named Gary Klein. Gary Klein is the master when it comes to plumbing systems and he's written some amazing articles on how to do structured plumbing in your, or pardon me, how to do, and Gary Klein has written some amazing articles on how to do plumbing in your house. I typically do trunk and branch system because I'm a fan of Gary's uh, philosophies of really hardly wasting any cold going down the drain before it gets hot, but some circumstances I think this is a pretty incredible system. So I'll put a couple links to some Gary Klein articles in the description below. Guys, if you're not familiar with The Build Show, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. We talk about all kinds of topics from products, plumbing, building science, HVAC, framing, anything to do with building a high performance house is something you're gonna hear about on The Build Show. And as I mentioned, new content Tuesdays and Fridays. Hit the bell too so you're notified when our new videos come out. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.